What's going on, people? This is Tasha Rasay from Computer Music Academy, and welcome back to CMA Answers. Today, we want to answer a question from my man Double Negative. He wants to know, is there a way to pitch down samples in machine without affecting the tempo? This is very simple to do. Now, to avoid any copyright issues or infringing, I'm going to use one of his songs. That's all you get for now. If you want to hear it in full, go check out Weekly Homework Podcast number 44. In the meantime, let's answer his question. So I'm going to duplicate that track to another pad. And I'm going to turn off the one shot. That way it doesn't repeat and overlay uh, the samples every time I hit a pad. And I want to get to this part right here where he actually has a really dope breakdown. I think it starts about right there. Cool. And zoom back out, get the back in. And zoom back in. About right there. Oh. There we go. All right, perfect. So what we're going to do is go to truncate, hit apply. Now that's the actual length of the sample. All right, good to go. So now let's go back over to stretch, hit settings, and everything that you need to mess with is right here. So he's interested in, in uh, tuning it down. So let's go to negative five. Personally, I like to put the uh, format correction on because I think it actually has less artifacts and, and less distortion that way. Just a personal preference. We got beat mode. We also have auto detect and it detected the tempo at 94.2 and we want to keep the tempo the same. So let's take the new tempo and set it at the exact same thing. So 94 shift. And let's take it up to 0.20, which is 0.2. Leave the length at, the, at four bars, which is the same. Everything else is good from this point. Hit apply. And let's check it out. Yes, perfect. It's the exact same length, the exact same tempo just pitch down. Now the cool thing about it is this works the other way. So let's go in the other direction. Instead of negative five, let's go plus five. Everything else is set the way we need it to. Hit apply. Yes, sounds perfect. The exact same tempo the exact same length is just pitched up or pitched down and machine does that perfectly. And this is only the beginning of what the sampling and, and stretching uh, engine and machine can do. Trust me, there's a lot more and we'll cover it soon. But I really like how that worked out because you could actually go here. And for anybody asking, this works the exact same way on the MK2 and the MK1 that's using 2.0 and even 1.8. It's the exact same engine and it works perfectly. Shout out to my man Double Negative for asking the question. If you have any questions you would like answered, leave them in a the comment down below or contact me on one of the social networks and I will do my best to take care of it for you. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for more tutorials, reviews, and exclusive courses, make your way over to ComputerMusicAcademy.com. See you next time.